As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. Hey, Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Camon safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive well, to get I, it. I don't... Are. Uh... <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger? Wait till I tell the group about this. Holy game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs. It's awful. And that's what my life is about. Looking down on others. Yes. Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. R2. Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. Could you elaborate? Oh, that's right. People need to learn how to take care of themselves and not depend on others. If you read chapter 45 of my book, I talk about how being selfish is a virtue. The best thing you can do for someone that needs help is to tell them to help themselves. That builds moral character. Morality, Maurice. There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the doctrine of helping your fellow man, we get thrown into the dark ages. Look at Russia. They keep trying to help each other out, extend a hand to a neighbor, and guess what? Every ten years, someone's invading, burning down. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Can't you see you're in my way, man? How old do you think I am? You're too young for me, mi querido. This is a raid! <laughs> Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. This is now break your neck. Oh, this is not a pain in your ass. Damn, it's a flangy nine thousand. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Phil, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move!
It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! You're as boring as the other guy. Leave me alone, mister. Light City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're prepping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact, while rich people have a lot of guilt, unnecessarily, in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes a poop. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yep. Tell you, Tommy, what I tell you, Ben Swap better watch out when Kent Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I got me some new friends. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Ridge and Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out, you hear?